Hello and welcome to this demo of SAP UI 5. In this demo, we are going to talk about the matrix layout. Uh, a matrix layout arranges controls in a grid-like structure using the rows and which might not have the same number of cells. And if you're aware of basic HTML and you know how to create a table in HTML, then understanding the matrix layout is really easy. And you should only use a matrix layout if you need to align the controls horizontally across the rows. So we'll try to understand how a matrix layout works. Uh, before that, we are going to create a HTML table and that's, that's the way it works in the background. And if you can understand this particular stuff in HTML, then creating matrix layout in UI5 applications would be really easy. So let's go ahead and create a table. Uh, so I'm creating a table. It's going to have a border so that you can see the cells and the rows properly. And I'm going to give a cell padding of 20 so that things are a little enlarged. And now we are going to create three different rows. So TR into three. And then we are going to have uh, four table data, which is four cells whose width we are going to have fixed. And we're going to have the width as 100 px. And this we need four. So now if you see, we have three different rows right and each row is having four columns and if I refresh this you'll see something like this it has three rows and four different columns now in the first row and the first column the first cell basically we are going to add something like a first name right and in the second cell over here we are going to have our input so that we can type our input over there Similarly, here we are going to have last name in the second row and we're going to have an input and in the third over here we need a button. Okay, so something like save and if I hit refresh, I get something like this. Right, so it's pretty much aligned and it looks really good and if I remove the borders, then fresh then it looks something like this right so i'm giving the borders over here and now we are going to add an image over here but if we add an image it is going to stretch the height of the first row so i have an image over here and i'm going to place it on the first row the last column so which is going to be here and that's the image that I've added. I'm going to bring it down so that, yeah, something like that. And now if I refresh this, it is going to stretch the height of the first row. All right, so we are going to give a decent height over here. Let's say a height of 150, just to make it a bit smaller, but it is still stretching the height of the first row. So we are going to give this image this space and this space so that it can take this space, entire this space as its height. And the way we can do that is by using a row span. So what row span does, uh, it is going to take the space of this row and this row, right? So we are taking total space uh, three rows. So I'm given here three. And now if I refresh, uh, we are going to delete this rows from here because this belongs to the bird right now. So we are deleting that and we are deleting those rows. And now if we refresh, the bird has got the entire space, right? So this is what we are going to do it in our UI5 application and we'll see how the matrix layout works over here. So let's get started over here so I have already created a okay I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna start from new so we are going to create a matrix layout new layout. matrix layout and if we look into our HTML we have fixed width right so our layout is going to be fixed in this case. So we're going to say 
layout fixed is true and the width of the table we had given it we have not given a width but let's say we give the width as 600 so if you refresh this that's kind of a 600 width so we are going to give the width as 600px and then we are going to have uh, four columns and we are going to give the width of this column as 150px each right so we have created a basic matrix structure and now we are going to create uh, the row and the first row looks something like this so we are going to do that um, over here and also I forgot let's have a heading so that we know what this table is for so I'm going to add a row over here and it will have just one cell and I'm going to give call span is equal to 4 now call span means it is going to take the space of four columns right the first cell and we are going to give something like user profile information right so if I refresh I get something like this I can give it in bold or in h4 tags so that it looks a bit bigger something like that and let's go ahead and add that in our UI5 application so the first thing we are going to create a cell uh, which is going to have the call span as 4 and then we are going to create the text and we are going to add the text inside the table column and then we are going to create add it to the row and that's how it works so the first thing we are going to create a cell and this cell will be new sap.ui.commons.layout it is a matrix layout cell and it is going to accept an object which is call span uh, call span which is going to be 4 right so after we have the call span we are going to create the text like we have created over here this part and bar o text is equal to new sap.ui.commons.text view is going to accept an object and we are going to write the text as user profile information And we are going to give it a design and sap.ui.commons.design. We are going to give it as h4. And now we are going to add this text inside this cell. So we can do that by writing o cell dot add content text right and after this we are going to add this cell inside our row so o matrix dot create row right so so far what we did was only this much stuff and if I refresh this it looks something like this and the same thing we will We'll try to preview this. So let's go ahead and return our matrix layout. And now if we try to refresh this, it looks something like that. And the same with what we saw over here. So now we are going to add the next row. So let's refresh this. So we're going to add the next row, which is going to contain a first name and an input box. So to do that, so this was our 
first row now we are going to add a second row and the second row is going to contain a label and a input box and then the image right so let's start with the label var o label is equal to new sap dot ui dot commons dot label and this is going to contain a text which is first name right and after the label we need a uh, input for o input is equal to new sap dot ui dot commons dot text field and this will have a width of say 200 px right and we are going to link the label with the input box and to do that we are going to write o label dot set label for o input and after this we are going to create the image var <coughs> o image is equal to new sap dot ui dot comments dot image and this is going to accept the src and we are going to copy the src from here right. and we have given a height of 150px and the same thing we are going to give it over here height is 150px right so we are done with the image and we are going to create a cell so for cell 1 is equal to new sap.ui.commons dot layout dot matrix layout cell and this will have a row span of three so what we did here if you look at the image it is going to have a row span of three so we need to create this cell first right we need to create this part first and then we are going to add the image inside this right forgot to save that yeah so we have the cell ready and now we are going to add content o image right and now we are going to create a row and add this information so we can do that by writing o matrix dot create row and the first data that we have is o label so we're going to add that and then we have o input we are going to add that there is nothing on the third column if you see that's empty so we are going to mark this empty and in the fourth one we have o cell one right so that's how we created the second row and if you want to have a preview right it looks like this now if you see there is a lot of space over here that's because this particular picture needs three rows and we have created only one of the row so we need to create two more rows so that this gets settled up right so we are going to add another label o label is equal to new sap.ui.commons dot label and this is going to have a text last name right and then we are going to have another input new sap.ui.commons dot text field and we are going to give a width of say 200 px right and after that o label dot uh, set label for we are going to copy this set label for o input and now we are going to create the row so o matrix 
create row. So here we are going to have O label as the first thing and O input as the second column. So we have created a this is the second row and we need to create a third row and we're going to have a button in that case so we can write var button is equal to sap.ui.commons.button and we are going to have a text which is going to be save and we're going to add this inside a new row so matrix dot create row now if you remember when we visit here when we're creating the third row the first one is null so we are going to give it as null and then we are going to pass our button to it so that's how it has created the third row and now if we go ahead and refresh this page right we get the same uh, thing that we get over here except that this contains borders uh, but now that you have understood how it works we can make the borders as zero let's refresh right so it, it's almost more or less it's the same uh, so I hope you understood how to create the matrix layout and I suggest you to go ahead and create more rows and create a form and see how everything works play a lot with row span and call span they are really helpful um, and if you have any doubts just drop me a comment and i'll try to help you out with that thanks for watching